So in this video, I titled it, Why Men Must Prioritize Themselves and Chase Success Before Dating to Be Successful with Girls. Now, if you are a returning subscriber or a returning viewer of mine, then you know that this video is a little bit different than what you're probably used to seeing because usually I have a notion board video pulled up, I'm in a loom bubble, and it's more of a presentation type, dang, dude going crazy on his motorcycle. This is more of like a, you know, usually I do more presentation style videos, but as you can see, or as you can tell, maybe, I'm in my car right now, and just running some errands, man, and I'm gonna be having more of a chill, casual talk with you guys as I'm running some errands and just, you know, bring you guys for the ride, man. I tried to do this earlier, but the sun was out, it was blazing, and my phone kept getting that, you know, the, your phone's too hot. Once the temperature cools down, your phone will be working again. So I kept trying to film this video earlier, but man, my phone was messing up, so I couldn't. But with that being said, man, I'm gonna bring you guys for a ride. We're just gonna, you know, ride around and we're gonna have, you know, a one-to-one -one talk and talk about this, man. So this conversation was inspired by a couple of conversations that I have with my one-to-one -one clients, man. And a lot of the men that I'm starting to see that I'm working with, they all have this common goal that they're all working towards, whether they believe it or not necessarily believe it, but whether they know it or not. And that is a lot of the men that I'm working with, they weren't happy with the results that they were getting in their dating life as far as the type of women that they were attracting. And sorry, man, if, you, if the camera's all bumpy and stuff like that, you guys just gotta rock with me, man. Just gotta rock. I'll try to minimize the shakiness of the camera, but you know, I can only do my best. But dang, get all close to my car. But yeah, man, so the guys that I'm working with, they haven't been too happy about the results that they're getting with their, you know, with their dating life and the options that they've been able to generate when it comes to dating women. They're, they're just not happy with the quality of women and they know that they can attract better, granted they put in the work. And a lot of the men that I'm working with, what they're doing is they're basically taking a period of time and going on monk mode, essentially. I'll, I'll call it monk mode because a lot of people know what that term means based on you know the trend of monk mode and how that's been a big trend on YouTube the past couple years. They're basically embarking on their own monk mode journey and they're gonna be focusing on leveling themselves up and you know dialing in their looks, right? Leveling themselves up when it comes to their physical looks, especially if they're gonna be doing online dating, like dating apps, of course, putting themselves out there on social media. You know that those those platforms are, are very focused on looks, so they're gonna be dialing in their looks, but more importantly beyond that, because that's just the first step, is dialing this up here. And I think that makes sense. And I think that if you're not seeing the success that you want when it comes to girls and dating, you should prioritize yourself first and you really should focus on chasing success. Not just success in terms of improving your looks and then you're attracting girls to you. Okay, dope. But there's more to life than that. There's more to that. There's more that you're gonna be experiencing even after that. Okay, you get the girl, now what? You gotta think, you know, you gotta think a couple steps ahead, fellas. But that's why I'm here. I want men who are gonna follow this channel because I, I create content for men who are all about leveling themselves up in all aspects of life, not just their looks, all aspects of their life, right? And they wanna become the best versions of themselves. They wanna become the most handsome and attractive versions of themselves, but that doesn't just mean physically, handsome mentally, as far as having a sharp, strong, stoic, yet open, creative, intelligent mind, you know? Being a good dude, a good solid dude, right? Doing right by himself so that he can do right by other people. A man that believes in investing in himself, right? Doesn't have an ego to him. Seeks out guidance and support from men like myself or men that he believes that can help him. That, those are the type of men that I create content for. The men that are willing to put in the work. And I believe that if a lot of men prioritize themselves more, and focus on chasing success in all aspects of life. And excuse me if I'm kind of all over the place, man. Obviously, you know, I've never done a video like this before because this is my first type of video where I'm driving and talking and car vlogging, basically. But this is dope, man. I like this casual setting that we got going on. But I think that, excuse me, 
if a lot of men prioritize themselves first and focus on chasing the uh, chasing success a lot of men would be more successful with women and I don't understand why well I actually I do understand let me not say that I was gonna say I don't understand why a lot of content creators would advise you against this taking a period of time of monk mode to take yourself out of the dating space the dating market and spending however many months it may take for you to level up until you get the results that you want when it comes to dating girls. That's gonna look different for any and all type of man just depending on where he's coming from, how far he is from his goals, how you know close he is to his goals, what is it that he's specifically trying to optimize for as far as his goals with dating, you know what I mean? But anyways, you're gonna have content creators that I will tell you don't do this and that you can date women while you self-improve and you can, but you also cannot. I believe it depends on the type of man that you are. If you are already a man that can attract women to you, you have that look going to you, right? You're a good looking man. You're well put together physically, but you're trying to improve other aspects of your life, like your career, your finances. You know, maybe you're trying to be more productive. You're trying to learn a new skill, whatever the case is. If you are a man that can already attract women, but you're trying to self-improve in other areas, then yes, you can balance dating. You can balance relationships and self-improvement in that context. But there's a lot of men who aren't even able to attract women to them yet. And I think that, or they're not able to attract the women that they want, I should say. So if you are that man that you're not able to attract the woman that you want, it makes sense to take yourself out of the dating game and if you are a returning viewer and a subscriber of mine, you know that I drop a lot of Batman and comic book references. This is your time where you're Bruce Wayne and you got to leave Gotham City and go train and become Batman for the next 10 to 12 years. Now, I say that metaphorically speaking, not actually take 10 to 12 years out of the dating game. But I mean, you you may just have to take some time in where you got to focus on yourself. You got to do the necessary work, the necessary improvements. So then when you come back, to date, you can get the results that you want. You can attract the women that you want. It won't feel like you're settling. It won't feel like it's daunting to date because you're actually attracting the women that you want. But that all starts with attracting yourself first. It all starts with attracting yourself first. This all starts with you wanting to do this for yourself. You know, this all starts with you wanting to do this for yourself. And I had two coaching calls today, and this video is gonna be inspired by both of them. But the first one, I'm not gonna put his business out there, of course, I wouldn't ever do that. But long story short, the gentleman that I talked to this morning, good dude, 25, very smart, intelligent, got a lot going for him. He recently got out of a relationship at the beginning of this year. A girl broke up with him. And he's getting over it. That's something that we were talking about. He experienced a lot of trauma and a lot of pain from that, that we're working through. And he told me that he felt like his ex-girlfriend didn't prioritize him. He felt like he was prioritizing her all the time, but he, or, but she wasn't prioritizing him. She wasn't giving him the proper, you know, reciprocation and affection and investment as he was for her. And... I told him, man, I'm like, you know, we got to forgive that situation. You know, I, I broke down why certain things happened the way that they did and what to focus on moving forward. But men, what I noticed is that <clears throat> men will get into relationships when they haven't prioritized themselves first. When they haven't prioritized themselves first, when they haven't realized and more so built up their self-worth, but then realized what their self-worth is and and they are a man of value not just because they say it not just because they heard a content creator say it but they actually put in the work they have the proof they have the data they have the statistics to actually showcase yeah i'm that motherfucker man i'm that dude i'm him as some people say right they have those results they have that you know those accomplishments under their belt once they are that type of man they then realize their self-worth. And once you realize your self-worth and you built up value as a man, truly, not just saying it again, but you actually know that for yourself and you believe that for yourself, that's when you guys don't put up with bullshit that you'll experience from girls. 
But see, the problem is, is that a lot of men haven't built themselves up yet. A lot of, because they haven't built themselves up yet, but because they want girls now, because they are impatient, because they, they allow their biological urges to control them versus the other way around, they're going, they're going to latch on to girls. They're going to seek abundance in girls, which I talk about. A lot of men, most men actually seek abundance. They seek out solutions in women that they should be seeking out in themselves. And that's why they get screwed up. That's why they get effed up. And I'm not necessarily talking about my client here. I'm talking about men in general, right? And when you focus on chasing success when you focus on developing yourself as a man and i know you guys have heard this and maybe you're even talk tired of some of these talking points but i'm gonna break it down more in depth because i'm just an in-depth dude man that that's my advantage i'm gonna bring that up that's my advantage because i understand a lot of younger men you know around my age younger follow me and i know i understand how you guys mind works you guys aren't going to really be checking for the older dudes but there's a lot that you can learn from older people what to do and what not to do because they have more life experience than you regardless of how you feel about them. But I know you guys aren't going to really be checking for them like that because they you don't feel like they can relate to you, which I understand. So that may be why you're, you're coming to watch my channel, which I appreciate. But I think what I have to my leverage that I'm going to use and your leverage actually is because I got that, you know, I'm young. <clears throat> you know, I'm young. I take care of myself. I put effort into my looks, you know. I know I can inspire men in certain ways, and I say that humbly speaking, but I know I can, at least to my best, impart wisdom and depth onto you guys to help further you and your lives. At least that's my goal, that's my intention. Whether I can accomplish that with every man, you know, that's a different conversation, but at least that's my goal, that's my intent. And basically to bring, you know, to the point that I even brought that up, is that you hear, yes, chase success and the women will come to you, chase money, and then that's when the women will come to you. Well, yes, but it's not so much about those things that will bring the women to you. It's that you become a man that you know who you are. You become a man that is actually abundant, that actually has prioritized himself. You become, and this is going to be really hard, but you become a man that you could be cool without women. You could be cool with women. Either way, you're cool on your own. You you consistently stay cool because you are constant. What do I mean by that? You're confident regardless of how a girl feels about you. You're confident regardless of what a girl feels about you, man. Your life is good whether or not a girl is in it. Does that mean we don't want women in our life? Does that mean don't date girls? No, I'm not saying all that. I'm not saying all that but they are additions to your life. And the problem is men have prioritized women over themselves and they haven't built themselves up to be the best versions of themselves or built themselves up to a, a position in life where when they're dating women, they have the leverage in the relationship. Now, let me, let me preface and, you know, say, I'm not saying have leverage to control a woman because you, you don't need to do all that, especially if a woman's really into you, you, there's no need to control her, right? It's not about having leverage to control women. It's really about having leverage to demonstrate without saying verbatim that you are a valuable man. There's not many men like you. Therefore, you should be treated as such. You are the prize. You should be valued. But you should be feeling that way about yourself and those things should already be taking place as far as building yourself up to be that man in the first place, not for women. Because I talked about this in my video yesterday, but when you do this for women, that's when you screw up. That's when you screw up. And that's why the work seems so daunting because you're not doing it for you. Anything that you do for you, it's more of a desire and want than it is a chore. And... I honestly believe that it's just the, the reason why a lot of men are struggling with women nowadays is this, man, because a lot of you guys are looking for abundance in them. And a lot of you guys are trying not to be lonely, so you want to be with women. There's two men I know in my life right now. One's a family member, one's a friend of mine. 
and they've gone through quite a bit with women and they think from a scarcity mind and the thing that both of those two men have in common is that they're both scared to be alone and the problem is that when you are a man and you are scared to be alone so therefore you latch on to a woman's presence the problem is is that there's a reason that you don't want to be alone and you're not addressing it you're not solving that issue you're not getting to the root cause of it but what you're going to try to do is you're going to try to mask it with a woman and you think you're good you think you're good you think that problem went away just because you haven't been thinking about it or because you haven't been feeling it because you're occupied you're being distracted and you're feeling all the emotions and all this stuff from the woman you're distracted you're numb to it you're numb to the pain for now but then once that girl leaves for whatever reason or maybe she doesn't leave maybe just something happens who knows but she's no longer in your life anymore well guess what that pain of loneliness starts to creep back up and it and it hits you like a mike tyson uh hook it hits you hard and then you're gonna go and latch on to the next girl because you can't be alone because, you know, my I'll say this, my client was, you know, talking about how he's at a point where, you know, he, he misses his ex. And, you know, part of him wants his ex back. And I asked him, like, do you really want your ex back? Do you really miss her as a person or do you miss her sensations? Do you miss aspects of her body? Do you miss being in a state of mind where you were comfortable when you didn't have to face being alone? When you didn't have to worry about leveling yourself up because you knew you were gonna have to compete out here with other men and acquire other women and the work that does go into that. Is it those things that you're missing? Or are you actually missing her? And you know, I asked him like, do you miss the situations and the things that you had to go through with her? And more importantly, are you even in the correct mindset? Are you even, look at this dude. Just zooming all past me and shit. <laughs> See, this is how accidents start, man. I'm sorry. Like, I have this dude trying to merge and he's trying to speed up all of a sudden. Like, come on, man. But, you know, I asked him, like, man, are you even the man that can even welcome a woman like that back into your life? And, he, you know, he, he understood what I was saying. He was like, no. He's like, I got to move on. And I told him, because he's, and this is something I want a lot of you men to understand because I know what's gonna go through your guys' mind when I say you need to take a period of, of time and go monk mode and not not necessarily date women if you're, because it doesn't make sense to keep doing the same things that are getting you the result that you don't want. It doesn't make sense for you guys to keep spending time, money, effort, energy, attention on women that you guys don't want. So wouldn't it make sense to take all that and put it back into you to level yourself up physically, mentally, financially, et cetera, whatever you got to do to then be that dude that can attract the woman that he wants. Doesn't it make sense to do that? Even though, yes, you're going to have to take a, some time away from the dating. Yes, that may mean that you you won't have, you know, intimacy with women. That may mean that you have to be celibate. Yep. Yep. But here's my question to you is why is that bad? Why is that a bad thing? Because the common man that can't control himself, that can't control his urges, who's weak for women, who's controlled by his lust, who's controlled by his biology, who has the mindset of, well, the best way to get over someone is to get under someone. You talking about the insecure dude who, who seeks security in women instead of seeking security in himself? The men that run from pain, that run from loneliness and seek light in women? which is why they keep getting effed up out here because of those common men, those common men, because they do that. You think that's bad for you to be in a state of celibacy? To focus on yourself? To level yourself up? Is that why you think it's bad? Think about that, man. And I asked my client that. I'm like, it's all about how you frame things, man. I was like, you can look at it that way, but I can also frame it as you purposely, strategically, intentionally taking time away from dating women because you understand that you're not in the right place in the state of mind 
to date other women, to just casually date other women because you understand you're still trying to get over your ex and that pain hasn't dissolved yet because you haven't dissolved it yet. And if you're just gonna be dating other women and just having casual sex, well then you're actually creating casualties by involving yourself with other women and unintentionally, unknowingly, making them a casualty to your pain that you haven't dissolved that came from a relationship from, with uh, from another girl. That ain't right. And he knew that. He knew that. Mature masculine men don't do that shit. Little boys do. Little boys who get their rocks off from content creators yelling at girls and shit do that. Not my men. That's why I'm not going to be for everybody, which is good. I don't, I don't attract and I don't work with the common man. I work with the uncommon man, a titan, right? You guys hear me reference titan, titans. You know, I, I'll call myself Nightwing J from time to time. I'm Nightwing up in this mug, man. Not everyone can be a titan. You got to be a certain type of dude to be a titan over here, man. I don't work with the common man. I work with the uncommon man. Just because the uncommon man is a slave to his lust and is a slave to women, which is why most dudes get hoed out here by women, doesn't mean that you need to do that. Because here, most more men really need to be celibate. Yeah, more men actually need to be celibate. I know people are going to be like, what, Jordan, you're crazy for talking that way. What are you talking about? Most of you dudes actually probably need to be celibate for many different reasons. <clears throat> Maybe because you can't attract the woman that you want, but you keep but because you lack the patience, because you're controlled by your biology and your urges, it's like you're trying to put, let's say you're baking a chicken and you're putting it in the oven and it takes 30 minutes to get ready. But because you lack patience, you keep taking it out, the chicken out every five minutes and then you try to take a bite. And then once you start chewing, you're like, man, why doesn't this taste good? What's going on? What's wrong? Blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude, it's not done yet. It's undercooked. And you keep delaying actually the results that you otherwise could have granted that you're a patient and this you know in this analogy if you actually allowed the chicken to bake for 30 minutes and then ate it once it was done you would be able to enjoy it at the most and it's most high quality form bringing it to the context of dating if you actually took time away from the dating market and dating game as people say to focus on building you attracting you building the life of you being confident with the man that you see in the mirror, improving your self-image and the way that you view yourself. Getting to the point where if not, again, not saying that we don't want women in our life. Not saying we don't date women. I mean, that's one of the things that I help men do is attract women to them. I show them how to get women to them via dating apps, social media, being a man that you're well put together to the point where girls are giving you choosing signals and approaching you in person. I show men how to do that inside the Inbound Attraction Blueprint program. But how the hell do you think you even get those type of desirable results in the first place by being a man that is worthy of attracting those things in the first place is how you do it. That's how you do it. And most men aren't willing to do that. And the, the reason why I know, and I'm not knocking my clients, I'm just, this is a trait that I've noticed, but I know that if they're doing it, I know other men are more than likely doing this, but my clients, you know, before they start working with me, what I noticed with my clients is that they weren't getting results that they wanted with women. They were tired of attracting the women that they just didn't find attractive or they felt like they were settling for. But I would see that my clients aren't, they haven't maximized their potential when it comes to their physique. There is still work that needed to be done with their, with their physical presentation which is fine. That's why they came to me. I'm not knocking them for that, but I just noticed how they were trying to they were trying to get the most maximized results with their dating before they got the most maximized results with themselves. Meaning they were trying to get the highest quality results when it comes to dating, but they haven't built themselves up to be the highest quality man that they can be in this present moment. And you're always you're never going to be a finished product. You get what I'm saying? I mean, there's, there's limits, right? When it comes to looks maxing, I mean, you're, there's only so much that you're going to be able to do, man. There's only going to be so much you, you're going to be able to do. But you, I think you guys understand what I mean by that. Like, I know it's like, well, man, yeah, like the reason why you're attracting these women, the reason why you feel like you have to pursue women 
is because you haven't developed yourself up, at least physically, in the context of dating apps and social media and all that. You haven't developed yourself physically to be a man that is going to be able to attract more volume of women to him. So we got to dial that in. We got to get the physique. You still got some body fat that we need, we need to cut. You got some muscle that you got to build, bro. Little, you know, little situations like that, little examples like that. But I love my clients, man. And that's the thing. Like, they're coming to me for help. And then I worry, I'm like, well, man, how many of these men are in the same situations as my clients, but my clients actually have the understanding, the awareness, the no ego to them to actually seek out my guidance and support, whether that's through the Inbound Attraction Blueprint program, working with me one-to-one -to, -one, to get the help. How many of the men are watching me? How many men that don't even watch me? How many men are, are walking amongst the earth that are going through these problems and aren't doing a damn thing about it. And I talked about this earlier, but I think a lot of it, man, is a lot of you guys are scared to be alone. That's why a lot of men are, men are scared to be alone. Men are scared to be alone and that puts them in a scarcity mind. Why are you scared to be alone? Why? Why? Now, it is a little bit easier for me to say, you know, because basically what I'm implying there is if I'm asking that question in the way that I am, that's implying that I'm good being alone. And I am. Part of that is because of my introverted nature. I grew up, man, when I was younger, you know, my dad worked a lot to provide for the family. You know, I was always in my room playing with my action figures, man. Playing with my, you know, Batman and Nightwing and Robin action figures, Spider-Man action figures, Superman. Star Wars action figures, Pokemon, Naruto, you know what I mean? Like, I was in my own world, so I was used to being alone. Like, one of the things I like doing by myself, man, I love going to the movies by myself. One of the best things ever, one of the best things ever, one of my favorite activities ever, man, is going to the movies by myself. I would even go to restaurants by myself, man. So I, I like being alone doesn't mean I don't enjoy the company of a woman doesn't mean I don't enjoy being around people I do I definitely do but I'm good with being alone I'm good with being alone and I and this is something that brought tears to my client's eye the, the first one I talked to this morning was that I was like bro I was like this is your time to be alone with yourself this is your time to focus on yourself. This is your time to prioritize you. And I was like, it, this feels bad, this feels wrong because the common man can't be alone. The common man can't be celibate. The common man can't level himself up when he's celibate. The common man would rather use women and use their bodies and numb the pain with other women to just simply put a Band-Aid over a broken arm, so to speak, meaning, the common man would rather make women the casualties to his pain stem from himself, other women, past relationships, trauma, and think that because he's sleeping with another girl that his pain has dissolved until that girl is not there and he's alone, boom. That's when the monsters come out up, come out up under the, the bed, out of the closet and start attacking him. The demons that he thought were, were no longer there that just disappeared, the pain that you just thought disappeared because you weren't focused on it, you weren't feeling it because you numbed yourself with, you numbed yourself of the pain with distractions. Oh yeah, that mug's still there, dude. That mug's still there and it got stronger actually. It got stronger. It got stronger. But I told him like, this is your time. You actually, I told him, I'm like, bro, this is your Batman. This is your Bruce Wayne, your Bruce Wayne leaving Gotham City moment. This is your, your moment to go from Bruce Wayne to Batman. I was like, you actually have the privilege to be alone with yourself. And I asked him, I was like, what do you think you're going to be able to do when you actually become a man that can conquer the fear of being alone when most men cannot? And that's exactly why at least one of the biggest reasons as to why they struggle with women is because they can't be alone. Therefore, they operate from a place of scarcity. And that's why they open themselves up to so many attacks. That's why a lot of men deal with disrespect. That's why a lot of men tolerate disrespect. That's why a lot of men prioritize women 
that don't prioritize them, why they love women that don't love them equally or really. I'll just say this, when the woman's more into the man, it just seems like everything always works out that way. And that may sound bad, it may sound negative, that's not the intent, but damn it, it is the truth. I was like, do you understand that you actually have the ability to focus on being alone and conquer that fear? When most men will never conquer that fear and that's why they're gonna live in scarcity for the rest of their lives? You start crying. You start crying with tears of joy, smiling. Mm. It was a powerful call, man. I had I had to sit with myself for like five to ten minutes after that call. A lot to process. In a good way. In a good way. I'm very grateful for this position. A lot of you guys are very good dudes, man. A lot of you guys have good hearts. A lot of you guys are good people. And I don't want you to guys get compromised. I don't want the core of who you are to get compromised by the pain that somebody else caused you. The content creators feeding into your pain but not helping you solve it within yourself. Changing the good dude that you are. You gotta be calibrated. There's certain times where you showcase aspects of you, elements of you, right? If you if you are a lover boy, like, I, you know, my client, he's more of the relationship type. I told him that's cool, but you gotta, you can't be searching for the relationships. Personally, for me, relationships transpired when they came to me when I wasn't looking for them. I was like, you can't be out here trying to look for relationships. I was like, understand, you know, once you get back into dating, you're gonna to have to see the one, the type of girl that likes you, that works for you. And that means that they may not be the girl that you end up being in a relationship with. You gotta understand that and be aware of that, right? And I'm gonna look out for you guys, man. I'm gonna do my best to, to look out for you guys and take care of you, man, to the best of my ability. But I don't want you guys to be out here compromising yourself, man. I don't want you guys to change who you are as men because I think a lot of you guys are solid dudes just looking for answers. But you guys can't you can't run from that loneliness. You can't run from that pain. And I, I would encourage all you guys to really focus on being, yes, become the prize, but you really gotta, you gotta do it. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be able to build yourself up to be that man. A content creator, I can't say that you're the prize man and then you actually be the prize. I wish it was that easy. I mean, not really, but it's it, it's not that easy, man. You guys actually have to go out and put in the work and get the accomplishments to be the prize. Because my, you know, my client, he was like, man, you know, all my family, my friends and all that, you know, they tell me that, you know, I deserve better, but why don't I, I he's like, I think that way, but why don't I feel that way? And I told him like, well, the reason why you probably don't feel that way is because you haven't treated you better. You haven't viewed yourself better. You haven't put yourself in a position in life to where you you truly treat yourself better. The way you talk to yourself, the way you view yourself, the way you treat yourself. And that's the thing, man. When you got, see, and a lot of that, when I notice in, when dudes that have gone through relationships that didn't you know, end up being the greatest and they gone through a lot of pain with women, especially when you tolerate disrespect from a woman that treats you like shit. And I'm not, this isn't to paint out women to be a certain way. And this isn't the hating channel on women or none of that. There's dudes that are good at that. I, I, I don't rock with all that. We don't need to do all that. We know what's up. You know, what, what's understood doesn't, you know, need to be said at times, right? But I have noticed that the men that put up with BS with, with the wrong women. Because there are there are a lot of good women out there. There are bad women out there, but there are also good women out there, just like how there are you know bad men out there and, and good men out there. There's good and bad everywhere, guys. Come on now, you know? But I've noticed that the men that have gone through BS with the bad women, the problem that I see those men run into is that because they're essentially going against themselves, by tolerating disrespect, lies, betrayal, you know, just being done wrong. 
But because that man is tolerating that, because he doesn't know his self-worth, he doesn't know who he is, he's going to think that that's what he deserves when he doesn't. But how does he know any better when that's all that he's receiving? That's all that he sees. That's when that becomes dangerous. That's when men start to think low of themselves and think that they don't deserve better because for the longest time, they haven't been receiving better. They haven't been receiving the right treatment. But you can't seek that out in other women though, man. And I, and I'm, I'm, I wanna be empathetic here that I understand with, with my look and what I, but the thing is I still got to put in the work. I, I think part, I got to stop doing that. Cause I, I know some of you dudes are on YouTube. It's like, Oh, well, Jordan, you look like a Chad and you look like this and that. And that's not me even trying to fish for compliments or either. When I say that, that's not me trying to be subtle flexing on you guys. You know what I mean? I know I'm a good looking dude. I'm fly. I'm fly as hell, man. I'm fly as hell, but I had to put in work on myself. And I understand that it, it's easy for me. I can, I can be cool from dating for years and come back and I know I'll be able to attract women. Humbly speaking, I understand that. But there were still periods of my life, especially when I was younger, when women weren't checking for me like that the way that they are now, where I was bu building myself up. That's why I do believe in having isolated periods of time where you are focusing on yourself not really worrying about women you're not really checking for women in those isolated period of time to develop yourself into the man that you should already be developing for you but the byproduct is attraction for women dating you know having a good dating life but it's also beyond that man like you know setting yourself up to get job promotions because of the way that you take care of yourself physically and mentally looking for ways to make more money, networking with more people, starting a business, starting a side hustle, picking up skills. You guys know I, I talk about this stuff quite a bit. When you guys build a life of abundance for yourself, which only comes from the man, which only comes from up here, everything else, the world will acquiesce to how you view and treat yourself. Because how you view and treat yourself is how you really treat the world and how you view the world. And I know that sounds woo-woo, I get it. But, you know, life is beyond just the physical, man. It's just, it's beyond the physical. But, you know, I know I'm going on a long rant right here. You guys know I can talk a whole ton. For someone that's introverted, I sure as hell can talk, huh? But you guys got to find who you are, man. You got you to gotta be that dude. You got to build yourself as a prize regardless of how a woman feels about you. Because I, I talk about that. I talked about this in my last video. You got to remain constant at all times. The world is inconsistent, but you got to remain constant. That's why I'm saying, like, if you're going through some trauma right now, man, you, you're going through some pain, you're going through a bad breakup, or you went through a bad breakup, and let, let's say that you can't attract women and you're just sleeping around with a bunch of women, yeah, it feels good, doesn't it? It feels good until what? That pain comes back up. And that's the thing. You're inconsistent. You're in a state of inconsistency because. You're feeling good right now because what's making you feel good is outside of you. But then meeting the girl, let's say for the example, but then when that girl goes away or something happens and you and that girl aren't sleeping with each other or whatever, well, guess what? Now that pain creeps back up again. You get alone with yourself, you get scared. You're like a little kid that gets scared when, when the lights turn off. Now you're, now you're back to being in scarcity. Now you're back in pain. You're inconsistent. You got to be consistent. And the best way to be in, the best way to be consistent, excuse me, is getting settled with yourself, finding out who you are, building your value, viewing yourself as a valuable man and not tolerating bullshit. Cause that's the thing. A lot of men don't know what to tolerate because they haven't built themselves up to the point where they can actually receive good treatment, attract good women women that give them good energy that, that are attractive or attracted to that man attractive to that man but attracted to that man <clears throat> women that pursue the man the women that go out their way to you know make that man happy there's there's women out there like that but you got to be that dude not every man can get that type of treatment but my thing is this instead of just dating any girl you can get 
build yourself up to be the dopest dude so you're not just out here tolerating any kind of woman because that's the thing you especially as you level up and i'm gonna make a video about this man handsome men shouldn't just be dating any type of girl i'm gonna make a video about that that's a handsome men's game video that i don't see anybody talking about you ain't just you shouldn't just be dating any other girl out here you become a rarity just in just in your looks alone as a handsome man it doesn't just end there but i'm just saying when you develop yourself up up into a, a good looking man that takes care of himself physically and then you add the mentality to it you add the ambition to drive to him substance and depth to him man there ain't many dudes out here like that you're a rarity you're a rarity out here but anyways man i know i'm all over the place what we're at 40 minutes i'm interested to see how this video does man but A lot of men don't spend enough time figuring out who they are. I know I did it. I know I did it. And I wish I would have. I'm 27, I'm still young, but I think I could have done it sooner. But hey, I'm doing it now, you know? And that's why I want to spread this message to you guys, man. That's, that's why, like, for me, that's why I'm doing the martial arts. That's why I'm, you know, leveling up finances and... That's why I love that I'm, I'm building this channel and, and helping men. Like, I love this because this is the type of man that I've, I've wanted to be, that I've visioned myself being for myself. You know? Looking out for you, man. Look out for you. Do right by you. And especially once you are, and I talked about this, but once you're able to start commanding the better quality of treatment that women can provide you not commanding or demanding it from her as far as like you better treat me this way and I'm not saying that but just you being that dude that can attract women that are actually into you that want you that are kind that are feminine that are respectful that value you right that give you good energy which by the way guys don't mean they're gonna be Instagram baddies you have, to, you have to understand that you guys, in my opinion, I think you guys should focus more on how women treat you instead of just how they look. See, not many, I don't, I don't, not many men that are my age are speaking like this from what I've seen. And I'm not trying to, you know, come off a certain way or act like I'm better than these dudes, but shit, I don't, I mean... That's just my leverage, man. I got, I, got, I think a little bit differently, man. I'm, a, I'm an old soul, but I'm allow you guys to, I'm allow you guys to benefit from that, from that um, advantage that I have. I'm, a, I'm an old soul, but I, I'm still relatable to a lot of you guys. I'm giving you guys the best, you know, of both worlds as far as being young and relatable, but giving you guys the wisdom that I think you guys should seek out from older men that actually know what they're doing and have something to teach you. Good or bad, they have something to teach you. <clears throat> but I think a lot of men need to focus more on finding who they are instead of their identity in women, success in women. Like, <clears throat> it's cool. Like, for me, I know I'm a good-looking dude, but I, I can't tie my identity to that. I can't believe that about myself just because other women say that. I got to think that for myself, regardless how women think, regardless of how people think, you know what I mean? You can't let other people define you because again, it's, a, then you get in a state of inconsistency because you're going to, there's going to be one girl that's checking for you, but then another girl that isn't. So does that mean that you're not a man that is attractive? Is that a man that you're, that can't attract women because one girl likes you, the other doesn't, you see what I'm saying? That's why you got to, you got to be solid with yourself at the end of the day, no matter what. No matter what, man. But I think, um, not I think, I know. The more you guys focus on going against the common practices, the common way of thinking, because that's that's the thing. A lot of the reasons why we think things are bad is because the common man doesn't. 
taking, let, let's bring it back to the dating. You taking your time out of the dating market to level yourself up because you understand that it's better time, effort, money, energy spent into leveling yourself up. So then you're basically taking a minute to make a minute. <clears throat> you're taking one step back so you can then make 10 steps forward. But a lot of men will treat that one step back like a mile back. But if you guys took your time to actually question why certain things that are said to be bad by the common man, you actually start to see that they're like obviously within reason, but like taking time out to be celibate, purposely to be celibate, intentionally to be celibate. Because the men that, that I'm coaching, they can get women. It's just that they're not going to get women that they want. But see, that's another thing. That actually brings me to another point. When you know that you have the potential to attract better, and then more importantly, once you know what better looks like, when you when you receive really good treatment from women, I'll tell you this, and this is why I believe, in, in my opinion, not like handsome men need to actually be more selective. You you would think that you should actually date more women. In my opinion, no, you should date less women. Because most women are going to qualify for you, not just because you're a good-looking man, but when you're a good-looking man, you actually bring more volume of options to you. And within those numbers of options, you're going to actually get women that will treat you well, that will treat you right. And in my opinion, if you've been treated really well by women or by a woman, and you men will, as you level up, you guys will. You will. You won't if that's what you believe. You won't if you don't think that there are you know women capable of that, then yeah, you're right. You're right either way. Just figure out which side of being right do you want to be. But you will experience good energy from women. You you will experience good treatment from women. And once you experience that, don't go below that. Because once you know what the standard is and you set a, a particular standard for yourself, whenever you go below that, you go against yourself. You lower yourself. You lower your confidence. Yeah, okay, you mess, you messing with this chick. She may be a 10, but she treats you like shit. She talks crazy. She's disrespectful. Got a dirty mouth on her. Ain't really respectful to her parents. Not respectful to the people around her. Okay, cool, she got the looks, but then what? Then what, man? You know what I mean? Gives you a hard time on your case. Like, th this is stuff that dudes go through all the time. You know what I mean? Even with beautiful women. There's dudes that get hoed by beautiful women. That's Those are the dudes that get hoed the most because they're, they're so caught up in the beauty. And that's what you guys got to fo stop focusing on the beauty and the booty. But focus on the energy. You know what I mean? Focus on how she's treating you. Because a girl, the way that she treats you is she's going to provide a lot more value and go farther with you in terms of just the value that she brings and how she can improve your life than a girl that may be bad right now for now. <clears throat> That's the thing. You guys don't think long term. It's like, okay, then what happens in 20 years when those looks fade, when she's no longer a 10 and she's a 6 or a 5, let's say, but that personality is still shit, then what? You guys don't think like that. And, and I'm more so talking to you youngsters, man. You, listen, I'm going I'm to talk to you guys like this because you got, you got all these other dudes that you can really tell are just too caught up with women and dating that they lack depth to them, man. That's why I'm going to make sure I, I do what I can to provide you guys value and at least offer a different perspective. I think that's all I can do is offer a different perspective. But you're going to have dudes that are going to encourage you to sleep with all these other women and shit when you got trauma when you don't know who you are when you got insecurities when you haven't built yourself up to be a man with leverage again not leverage to control the woman but leverage to demonstrate that you are him that you are that dude but more importantly and first and foremost you believe that and view that yourself and you you're gonna have dudes that are gonna just tell you hey yeah man just go run up and you know, sleep with all these girls. And again, I know I, I show men how to attract women to them, but I don't, there's ways to go about it, man. There's, there's strategy, there's intent.
know, there's a way to go about it, man. And again, you have to build yourself up to be a man that is able to attract those type of results anyways. So, again, I know it was all over the place with this, man. But And I know this was long. You guys know I can talk a lot. But I hope this was valuable, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the car vlog. If you guys want more help when it comes to leveling up your looks, become the best version of yourself, the most handsome and attractive version of yourself on the outside and the inside. And you do want to start attracting women to you, but attracting women that are actually going to treat you well, man. They're actually going to do right by you. Women who are going to compliment you in the sense of aiding you and however they can and providing value to the man that you have built yourself up to be and that you're continuing to refine and polish and approve and can add to the life that you have in motion as a byproduct of what you are building yourself up to be. If you guys want help with that, feel free to check out my free IAV training link down below. Or if you guys want extra help when it comes to, you know, me dissecting your personal situation and putting together a plan to help you improve, whether that is with looks maxing, self-improvement, fitness, mindset, dating, whatever. I'll have my link down below for you to book a call with me. Not cheap, but hey, best things in life aren't free. And I'm sure as hell aren't cheap either. So with that being said, guys, I hope you got a lot of value from this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And with that being said, man, I will talk to you guys in the next one. Take it easy.